The starting quarterback has been named. Hudson Card will be the starter for Game 1 against Louisiana. Let's take a dive into his tape and explore his game. Does his skill set line up with Sarkeesian's new scheme? How's his arm? His legs? Let's take a look at the tape starting from his sophomore year of high school. Let's see what we can learn about our new quarterback. And make sure to stick around until the end for a big announcement. Shout out to Inside Texas for signing the NIL deal with Hudson Card. You'll be seeing exclusive content coming very shortly. Go sign up at Inside Texas today to stay up to date with your favorite team. And as always, don't forget to pick up your new hat for the new season from Last Stand Hats. Use promo code TEXASHOMER, all caps, for 10% off your hat purchase at laststandhats.com. All right, it's time to dive into the tape and see what to expect from the young Hudson card. Without further ado, let's get into it. It's important to know that Card began his high school career at Lake Travis as a wide receiver, and he was routinely a deep threat. He utilizes proper footwork to free himself and then uses his long speed to grow the gap. His speed is often overlooked. He plays with physicality and goes up for the jump ball into waiting defenders, a good sign for his toughness as a runner. You want quarterbacks with an edge and Card doesn't seem to play scared. And besides the deep ball, he's effective in that 10 to 20 yard intermediate range. The intermediate range is all about timing and getting a proper release off the ball. A receiver has to be able to get to his spot efficiently since the ball is traveling less distance, it'll take less time. Card's first-hand experience running routes allow him to understand where our receivers should be and how they will get there. And these quick strikes over the middle are a major component to a Steve Sarkeesian offense as well. Sarkeesian's RPOs routinely hit over the middle of the field, in between the second-level linebackers and the third-level safeties. Expect to see the ball thrown inside around the 10-yard mark. Sark often employs a route called the glance route. It's designed to get the receiver inside of the defensive back with a quick break inside, so the quarterback can hit him in the hands. On shorter receptions, we see another aspect of Card's game. Shorter routes demonstrate how a player navigates traffic and if they can defeat one-on-one -on -one matchups. Card is able to win against corners and run through the crowded middle to secure a catch. We even see his physicality when he throws a block for a fellow receiver. And due to his athleticism after the catch, Card received reps on kickoff return and punt return as well as a sophomore. Card showcases his speed to get to the outside and turn the corner, but he's also crafty over the middle and making people miss when he decides to return it inside. Now, Card won't be a wide receiver for us, so why bring all this up? Because these core traits help inform his play style today. His time as a receiver had direct impacts on his mobility. His experience playing the position helps him relate to the wide receivers with intimate knowledge of how to play the position. His footwork, speed, elusiveness all translate to the quarterback position he'll play today. We see his running ability from his yards after the catch. Once he was named the official starting quarterback in his junior year, now we can see the ability to run as a quarterback. Lake Travis ran Hudson quite a bit on designed runs and the occasional scramble. But we know Sarkeesian is known for running his quarterbacks very little. He believes their job is to throw the ball to athletes who then make the runs. But I have to say we have some options for running the ball with Card. Nothing to the level of Sam, but we could absolutely send him on a QB draw or even a zone option within the 10 yard line. Tom Herman loved Card for the zone read where he could pull the ball and take off. Card is effective on options and will yank the ball and run for a quick gain. He's active and continues to make the first couple of defenders miss. Ultimately, we aren't likely to see a lot of these type of runs due to Sark's philosophy. Regardless, his athleticism after he initiates the run is nice to see. But there is a quarterback run I could see us using against two high safety defenses like TCU. Quarterback draws a short yardage run with relatively little risk to the quarterback. Lake Travis utilized it at any yardage, but I believe it's most effective within the red zone. 
Using Card for a quarterback draw at the 10 yard line could be an easy score, especially if you rarely run the quarterback, teams won't be looking for it. Card does well on designed runs, which we won't see a lot of unless the offense is sputtering and needs a boost. But we will see some scrambles when the offensive line gets overrun. Let's see Card's legs when the pocket breaks down. Card does a good job of keeping his eyes downfield with his shoulders in a position to make a throw. Once he's fully out of options, he'll take off. He's agile and has some serious jukes. He can cut it outside on the edge or carve up the interior defenders. Card's mobility is a majorly overlooked aspect of his game, and you'll see a couple of significant scrambles for first downs once he settles in and things get moving. Alright, so Homer, we've seen his legs pick up the much needed yards, but how does that benefit his throwing? He's a quarterback, not a running back after all. Card does very well on rollouts, bootlegs, and sprint outs. The rollout generally brings him closer to his target for short completions, but it also allows him to get outside of the pocket, set up quickly, and then deliver the deep ball outside. When the quarterback gets outside of the pocket, it opens up angles downfield that were not previously accessible from the pocket. Defenders now have to scramble to chase Card, pulling men away from their assignments. Card can also continue running for a first down if those defenders don't guard his rollout. Card has an excellent ability on the move to get to a spot where he can connect with his receiver. These types of plays can often result in big gains. He's disciplined, remaining throw ready during the entirety of his rollout, allowing for explosive plays to develop. Our offense can spread the field horizontally and stretch those linebackers into space where they are less skilled granting an advantage for our faster receivers. But let's take away the legs and see how Card handles passing from the pocket. Earlier, we talked about how Steve Sarkeesian loves to pass over the middle between the linebackers and safeties, look for it out on the field. A Sarkeesian quarterback simply has to be able to complete in the middle of the field with high accuracy. If you can't make the read and hit that receiver over the middle, then you won't play for Texas. Luckily, Card excels in passing on the inside of a defense. And Card has some gunslinger in him and he will fit it into some tight windows. Not always advisable, but you want a confident quarterback you can simmer down, opposed to a quarterback that's scared that you have to encourage to throw. Card is consistently on time with his throws and hits the receiver right between two defenders. We need this skill set for the offense. It's not just that glance route over the middle. Card can throw the deep post up the middle as well. He is able to throw the ball over the third level and land it cleanly in the breadbasket. No point in threatening deep if you can't complete it. Card can make defenses pay when more or worthy slips by them. So the middle of the field is open for business, but let's see his arm on the outside throws when our receivers get open on the go route or the out and up. Card's footwork is timed up with his routes. When the back foot hits, that ball should be coming out, and we see that. His arm strength makes the throws easier, but he has great touch and he can float it right over a DB into the receiver's hands. He's able to read when the defensive back is beaten and he makes the throw quickly. He's accurate at deep range and can replicate those throws over and over. Our deep accuracy should improve greatly this season. Sam completed only 29% of his throws over 20 yards, for last in the Big 12. If we start completing passes around the 50% mark, then we're going to be cooking with gas. Card's confident in his arm and his receivers to win the matchups. He plays fearlessly and has a toughness to him that isn't often talked about. He will stand in the pocket and deliver the ball, knowing a blitzing defender is about to smash him. I struggle to find a throw he can't make, and that's why there's already NFL buzz. Card can bring a dynamic skill set with an elite arm and give this offense a new identity. So we've seen all the tangibles. Card has a serious arm with play extending abilities that suits our offense well. But what about the intangibles? He's a young guy and only his second year, so we haven't seen a lot of his leadership style yet. And that's been a big question mark for me. So I figured, might as well ask the source. Viewers, let's welcome Hudson Card to the show. Hudson, thanks for stopping by the channel, and I know you've got an announcement. But first, what does leadership look like to you? What actions do you associate with being an effective leader on the field? Uh, for me, it's um, being able to bring your teammates along with you. Um, I've always been a guy that that leads by example. Um, if you can't if you can't do the small things right on and off the field, it's hard to get your teammates respect um, to follow you. So um, for me, it's just getting extra reps, 
um, after practice or on the weekends, um, being early to practice and, and, and in, in the meeting rooms and then um, outside of football and on the field too, which is uh, being on time for tutors, meals um, and that sort. So, um, and for me too, uh, I try to do a good job of going up to my teammates, um, whether that's in the off season or, or on the field saying, hey, good route here or get your depth there. Um, just small examples like that and being able to connect one-on-one uh, -on -one with your teammates. Um, I feel like I've, I've been doing a better job um, and trying to push myself to, um, uh, to speak more um, to the team. And uh, that's been, been a big emphasis on me um, throughout my time this past year. Uh, and I feel, I feel like I've gotten better at that. So um, that's kind of my leadership style and, and, and where I'm going forward with it. It's going to be fun to watch your growth, man. And when you transitioned from wide receiver back to quarterback at Lake Travis, was it kind of a similar situation for you? Was it a similar rise in leadership to what you're kind of going through now at Texas? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, as a receiver, it's, it's a different responsibility um, than a quarterback. Um, obviously, you can be a leader no matter what position you are. Um, but obviously, it's that, it's that next jump um, in being a leader. Um, obviously, the quarterback has – a lot of eyes on you. So um, I would say it's similar. Um, and, and being a receiver, jumping from receiver to quarterback was good for me. Um, it taught me a lot. So um, just being able to have that as a past experience and, and bring it on to this one has been good. All right. Good stuff, man. Thank you for the insight as I, as I break you down. But you came on the show for a big announcement. So let's let the Texas fans know what you've got cooking. Yeah, uh, I'm really excited about it. I'm starting my own YouTube channel. Um, just to be able to connect with the fans. Uh, my first video is coming out on Thursday. Uh, so all y'all go subscribe. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and, and the link um, to my YouTube channel uh, is in this video. So um, good access for y'all to, to, to get there. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited too, man. And that's a wrap for Hudson Card. The link to his new channel is in my description below, or you can search Hudson Card on YouTube and you'll find the channel. Big thanks to Inside Texas as always. Watch more of my videos here and consider subscribing. As always, hook them.